the view as well. Got this from my brother recently. This from a um, truck engine. These are actually um, wrist pins or gudgeon pins. This is out of a um, out of a blown Commodore engine. It had a had a spun bearing in it. Yeah. As you can see, the engine took a shit majorly. That's what's left of it. But that's what the um, average car V6, like what's in that size wrist pin is. About as big as my thumb. Well, the gudgeon pin is also another name for it. Connects a con rod to the top of the piston. You can see the difference between that and the truck one. So yeah, you can see what happens. The spun bearing can do this to the engine. This all started from a spun bearing. So you see how hot that got. That's just a crank grinding away and just destroying itself. That's where it let go. That went crunch against the block. The crank would have hit that as it um, turned, uh, rotated and cornered it between the crank and the journal on the block. So it had nowhere to go. Just mashed itself up. As you can see there. Bent the bolts. They're actually loose. And you can see there how hot that got. That's the only ring that survived in one piece. There's the other compression ring and that's the oil ring there all stuck together in one um, half of the piston. You see there it's been smashed and squashed it. It was actually stuck on an angle in the cylinder. It wasn't stuck straight down, it got stuck halfway down like that. You can see here where it actually hit the valves. And there's a bearing. Just wore it really thin. And that got stupidly hot. So no oil does that and it welds itself. It gets hot and this welds. It grabs. Then when there's too much play, something must give. And that's what happens. More bits of the piston. Bit of the side of the piston head. It's a general motors engine. Another bit there, bits of the bearing and a bit of the top of the piston, another part of the bearing, you can see the lip on it, I would have spun and sat on top of the other bearing, so yeah. Anyway back to these, you can see how much wear on these, the ends actually started spinning, it would have spun in the top here as well as this, not moving side to side. So that's the um, gudgeon pin's actually started to spin. It looks like it's actually had that wear mark around here. And you can see the wear on this one. Bits of uh, copper deposits there. It's made of um, hard and non hardened metals, the bearings that you would have used in this. As you can see, this probably doesn't have a little bearing in there. I can't really see. No, I think it's just pressed on there. Some bearings I use have a mixture of hard and soft metals, so the soft metals will have dirt that gets embedded into the metal and it just yeah, helps it last. And the hard metal is what causes this. You can see here it's actually ground and messed this one up real bad. Yeah, it's not very smooth at all. So these might make nice paper weights or roll pins. You put a pin through there on machinery, have a nice good solid roll pin. This one's in pretty good nick compared to that one. It's not too bad. Nice big chunky metal. That one has got a bit more wear on it. But it's in a lot better shape on the top half. It says Cummins registered, the R symbol. AACVZ 4923748H. Made in USA. This thing's probably done a couple of million k's around Australia. The engine this one it come out of. So it's just all scrap parts, have like a social gathering or something. They give all these scrap parts of scrap metal and yeah. My brother got these given to him. Gets them for nothing anyway, so. Three chunks of metal is always good. These might come in useful for other things. 
So yeah, let's see how much they weigh. Anyway, we've got a scale here. Oh, uh, one gudgeon pin. Support that. It's 1.8 kilograms. That's a lot. Now if I weigh the whole six at once, let's see how much they all weigh all together. So I've put the little chunks away. Fit quite well in this little box. Oh, let's put it on a scale, see how much it weighs. I can barely hold this with one hand. That's about... Let's get it central. Hold it in the middle of the scale. Uh, so, about 10 kilos altogether. That's a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching.